Hello and welcome to Cast Plays Blind Kona. I know literally nothing about this game. Downloaded it off Xbox Game Pass. I know the name. And that is all. Northern Quebec. Our sought information for a living. That is to say that ever since he returned from Korea, after having served with the armed forces, he had been working as a private investigator in Montreal. William hmm. Hamilton, a rich industrialist, had gotten in touch with him regarding a simple vandalism issue. Nothing to write home about. Not worth hiring a private eye either, just so he can drive for hours on rough roads. They had set up to meet at the general store, his client's business. Well, actually, the entire village had William Hamilton's name written all over it. When the roads okay. were bad, muddy, or snowed in, it was customary around these parts to close them off. But it was also customary to ignore those signs entirely and drive there anyway. Oh, very convenient. Yes. That's exactly what I needed. Hamilton yep. is waiting for Carl in the general store. It was time for him to get down to business. Back to the truck. Oh, I have to drive too. Then enjoyed a lavish country house. Oh, uh, the very uh, 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 okay. The local populace was divided when it came to the affluent man. Some saw a wealthy philanthropist dedicated to improving the region's economy. Others, an aging Englishman who would do anything to further his fortunes. And those ones hated him enough to go on about scheming against him. This guy kind of sounds like Lucy and Lachance. But the last straw was the reopening of a mine, which gave rise to a wave of protests and threats from the Cree people. Given these circumstances, Carl reckoned that a good number of people must be feeling compelled to oppose Hamilton in one way or another. I have a bad feeling. Only the industrialist's house had been a target, but soon enough, Carl thought, the target. Oh boy. To get out of there. The cold and the pain require urgent care. Oh, this is going to be a game with a narrator the whole time. I am loving this. Loving. Didn't another car crash too? Scratches did not stop Carl. His mother would be so proud. What? That's a weird thing to say. Heat sources prevent Carl from freezing Carl to death. Carl wondered how and long he would have game. to endure this skin stinging cold. There's no like fireplace. There's no obvious place for me to start a fire right now. Even better than he had hoped. Carl Faubert had succeeded once more, and was now on his way to new adventures. Okay. I have chains, I guess, for my tires? Let's try using the chains on the tires. Lay chains. He needs to heal his wounds and warm up his body before going further. Okay. I don't see any other. Oh, wait, wait. What's this? A fire is as good as the materials used to create it. Oh, I need the fuel. There's a pile of wood here. Yeah, I'd be pretty pretty distraught if that wasn't usable. Okay. Save the game. Happiness or sanity or whatever went up, and the heat is going up. Very nice. Okay. Well, maybe I should check out this other car. See who did. The driver had taken off. 
It was still best to check it out and leave nothing to chance. Carl needed help. It was a small, locked box engraved with the letters WH. Carl thought about taking it. Nothing was to be left to chance. Isabel photo. Aha! There we go. Now we can go. Right? Yes. Don't make me drive. I need to drink my coffee. It's gonna make me drive. Oh. Oh. Oh my gosh. This feels as dangerous as it actually is. Uh, well, I mean, I obviously can't go that way. So. Oh, man. I guess I'm going this way. Come on. I'm stuck. I can't see anything. Why is he going so fast? Dude, this is why you crashed in the first place. Slow down. Okay, I guess I'm fine. Okay, thank goodness. Okay. wouldn't surrender their divine nectar so easily. In all likelihood, they had to be switched on from inside the store. Whoa! Carl had no trouble recognizing his employer. He had been killed. There was no need to be a detective to figure that out. But only a detective could have noticed that the killer had to have been very close. That the fatal blow had been given before the victim even realized. Um, let's get one of, like, where he is. Yeah, that's a good picture. We'll keep that. Let's take a picture of that. Keep the picture. I'll take this envelope. What could be inside that envelope? Carl was taken aback. He knew this address. It was said to be the address of the P.O. box for the Canadian Secret Service. What? Carl felt a chill down his spine and had a terrifying realization. If Hamilton was dead, then who was going to pay him? Wow. Hamilton's murder. Client's dead, everything's going wrong. This music is creeping me out. I'm glad all my lights aren't. An explosion suddenly occurred outside. It's too late for this. An explosion? Everything's fine outside. What the hell is this? Carl was used to strange phenomena. But a chunk of ice like this? As if an iceberg came out of the ground? That was a first. Okay, we'll keep Prince? this picture. Carl found a surprise at every turn. Was the camera faulty, or was it a possible lead? Carl Fixed was no generator. but he could identify a wiring problem when he saw one. 
Carl was no electrician. Okay, I need tape. That's... Excuse me, sir. I'm looking for tape. Why am I opening the cash register? I mean, I got the instructions on how to do it. Post key? That's what you wanted out of there? I need to fix the electricity. But there's no tape in here. Is there something else in the garage, maybe? Oh good, another dark space to go into. Oh, I don't have the right key for this. What's this? What's this? The snowstorm pummeled everything in its path. Carl was not surprised when he heard no tone. Carl knew that Gilles Lachance was in charge of the general store. That made him one of Hamilton's employees. A very angry employee, as Carl could plainly see. Okay. Given the circumstances, leaving with an empty tank would be a death warrant. Carl had to refuel. Uh, oh wait, post key. Something fell to the bottom of the box. A what? Murder weapon. What was that doing there? Carl wondered. Hamilton must have been determined to keep some information secret to post this key. Shame he got unlucky. Everything made sense now. Poor Hamilton's denunciation was interrupted, and he figured it would be best to lock everything up and send the key to his correspondent, who would receive the box later on. Clever, but not enough. That's what happens to ordinary people playing spy. What the hell am I playing? I'm freezing to death again. Who was the person that I almost hit? Because they had the box. So, oh, there's a fire thing right here. Cold oh. turned into pain. Oh, no. I to find someplace warm. Ah, uh, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. Oh, my goodness. All right, guys. New lease on life. Where have I not searched that I could find tools, though? Ah! Hell yeah! I did not even notice that before. I'm dumb. So I miss stuff. Alright, assuming nothing spooky happens in here. Let's just get our electrician's tools and be on our way. I have to open each drawer. Got one hardware. Got one pliers. Is the tape also up here? You gotta be kidding me. One? I'm already getting used to this weird back away from the door thing. Two. This feels super ominous. Why didn't that work? I have to start the generator. The note explained that the garage and the store couldn't be supplied with electricity at the same time. Oh, God damn it. The note explained that the garage and the store couldn't be supplied with electricity at the same time. I feel like I'm missing something pretty basic here, guys. Off. On. Generator. Oh, man. 
I am so dense. Okay. Oh, that was a journey. I'm probably gonna edit that down. Time to leave the annoying store. Do I have to drive in the blind snow again? Oh, I do. Carl knew straight away where to find the infuriated Gelashan. Any good investigation would have to Oops. start there. If a guy hired me to do something, Carl felt that the store and its surroundings still held their secrets, and he didn't like to miss out. If a guy hired me to do something, like investigate something, and then I showed up to the meeting spot and he was dead, I 100% would not just start pro bono investigating his murder. That is not... <laughs> that is not what I would do. What do we have here? Rosaire's house. I don't know what to make of this game. I guess we'll see what it's like to talk to a person. What? Holy crap. Holy shit. Trade caribou for coat. All right, so we have a crazed Canadian. I'm assuming that that was French. So much in this cabin to enrich body and mind. Carl what? couldn't leave empty-handed. What are you talking about? Ah! Oh. I cannot. Are you guys having fun yet? I can't handle the amount of fun I'm having. What did he? He made it sound like there was a monster. That thing, if it gets too close, I'm gonna shoot it, basically, is what he said. I think I'm just following a fence line. I don't even... Oh, hell. Riveting. I don't know where I am or where I'm going. Let's just get out here. What could this be? Then a view. I think this is going to be my last little Lamoth's garage. Let's see if I get shot at again. Hey, it's more of that weird ice. What the hell? Oh. Can I open these doors? The man seemed petrified in ice. Holy sh! Carl saw terrified, him, and he didn't know if it was the fear or the cold that was responsible for his hair standing on end all over his body. The poor man, before being frozen solid, seemed to be defending the entrance to his cabin. But from what? This is not okay. What the f Okay. Going headphones off on this one, guys. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Nope. No, Kona. No. What the f
I don't have my flashlight because I'm not really here. What? He threw something up there? Oh. So that's supposed to be my, like, something very hint to go look there in the daytime. The man to take such time and effort to hide it. But Carl didn't know how to reach it. Okay, well, one, spooky, and two, uh, that weirdness is where we're going to end this episode for today. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is already a lot longer than I wanted it to be, and I do still have all that house cleaning to get to, and still quite a bit of coffee to drink. So, um, thank you for tuning in. If you liked, subscribe, like the video, do the YouTube stuff. You know, people always say, like,